I'm Carrie Zelda. We're here at the Denver Film Festival talking about the Trout Steak revival video, Brighter Every Day. You guys collaborated on the film. You used stop motion animation <laughs> and a bunch of other techniques. How did you determine that you wanted to use those for this video? Well, well, well. It was a pretty unique project. We, um, we just kind of shut our eyes <laughs> and listened to the song and let it guide us and ended up settling on um, mixing live action, stop motion, and time lapse. Distinguishing stop motion from time lapse is an important thing. We yeah. could talk about that later. <laughs> but yeah, all, um, all three of those techniques, it was quite an experiment to, to blend them together and see if it worked, and I think it worked. I think so too. The video is awesome. <laughs> In terms of the lyrics for the song, the way that you put the video together, you do get the flavor of the song, but it's not literal, so that it's like, okay, now I'm using this word to talk about this part of the film. How did you find that balance, or did you guys think about that? Um, well, we actually, uh, like Laura said, we kind of closed our eyes and, <laughs> and listened to it, and we kind of had two different brain children that we mixed together into one brain child. <laughs> And so, yeah, we, we listened to the lyrics and we went more on feeling in a lot of it. Like um, the opening scene of the barn, I was really set on that. Uh, I was like, I just picture a barn in the woods in the snow. <laughs> and, um, and Laura had a lot of the ideas with the stop motion um, aspect. And, and we're kind of like, well, what do we do with these ideas? How do we bring them together um, with the lyrics and with, with each other? And, I don't know, we just kind of went for it. We like just started writing it down and outlining, yeah. What do you think it is about pairing together film and music that affords something to audiences that the two separate wouldn't? Um, it's, it's an art form that I've been doing for a while now. I started making music videos, animation ones for my songs. Back in 2006, <laughs> circa 2006. And Decades I, ago. Yeah, and I just, I think that it's particularly po potent with, um, I call it visual percussion. Like the, the music itself gives a really cool outline to then percuss visually um, with whatever image you're choosing and whatever um, cuts you're making. Or It just, it's so cool to, to like, hear a song and then add a certain downbeat to like have this thing pop, have this visual image pop and it just, it kind of gives life to the song and the visual in a way that neither could survive or, or, or have without one another, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, coming into it as a, a photographer by trade, uh, yeah, my life is mostly visual, and Laura, she, well, she's a definite mix um, of doing the visuals and, and music. And for me, when I was listening to the music, I would, I would see things, you know, and um, I would see imagery, imagery, imagery. And so, yeah, for me, I, I don't think that um, the music could have survived without the uh, visuals, but also, like Laura's saying, like the, the visuals, I mean, some of them are kind of weird and strange and awesome, and they needed, they needed that music to kind of be cohesive. Thanks so much. Congratulations on the project. Thank Thanks. you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Bye.